natos tomata or jod vertebrates are divided into two superclasses physis and tetrapoda physis are further divided into chondrichthyes and istichthyes Contract thighs are marine fish with a streamlined body and a cartilaginous endoskeleton. Interestingly, the notochord is persistent throughout their lifespan. Their skin is tough due to the presence of minute placoid scales. in fact their teeth are modified placoid scales unlike other fish the gill slits are separate and the operculum is absent moreover the absence of the air bladder forces them to swim constantly to remain buoyant these fishes are called poikilotherms and they have two chambered heart with one auricle and with one ventricle they also have powerful jaws that make them good predators some of them have a electric organ or a poison sting to protect themselves from the predators contractiza dioecious and the pelvic fins in males have claspers you can see here the claspers fertilization in this fish is internal and many of them are viviparous carcharinus scoliodon Rustis and Trigon are some of the examples of this class. The next class within the pieces is Ostichthyes. These are marine and freshwater fish. Ostichthyes have a streamlined body with body endoskeleton. the skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales these fish have four pairs of gills each are covered by an operculum and air bladder which maintains buoyancy they are cold blooded and two chambered they have two chambered heart istichthyes are dioecious fertilization is usually external they are oviparous and exhibit direct development hippocampus exocoetus are marine fishes while labio cutla cutla and clarius are fresh water fish while some fish like beta and Tyrophilum are used in aquarium. The remaining four classes are placed under the superclass Tetrapoda, which means animals with limbs. Amphibians are adapted to aquatic as well as terrestrial habitat. their body is divided into head trunk while most of them have two pairs of limbs some don't have a tail while others do their skin is always moist and they lack scales their eyes are covered by eyelids behind the eyelids 
there is a pair of tympanum which represents the ears in amphibians the alimentary canal and urinary reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca you can see here the cloaca cloaca which opens to the exterior adult amphibians breathe through lungs and skin while the larvae breathes through the exterior gills these animals are cold blooded with a three chambered heart in amphibians the sexes are separate and fertilization is external they are oviparous and exhibit direct or indirect development buffo rana hyla and salamandra are some of the examples of this class